Good morning. We're doing another uh, installment today of our Weathermatic Tech video series. Today we're going to talk about the SmartLink Air Card and its relationship to the SmartLine controller. SmartLink was developed with the Air Card. It plugs directly into a SmartLine controller and then gives you the ability to put the uh, controller itself on the SmartLink network. Now let's talk about how to install the Air Card. The air card needs to be installed on a permeable surface where we can install it with the antenna facing the ground. The air card itself is sunproof and it is waterproof. Here we have an installation. We run the, uh, the connecting cord to the controller up to the base of the controller and plug it into the RJ11 jack. After installing the air card, you will see a succession of rapidly flashing green lights. After a, f a few seconds, it will then begin the sequencing for the panel, tower, signal, and activation. A successful activation will have solid green lights for the four sequences. If you get a red light during the sequence, it, it matches up to what we are not able to complete the process. So successful completion of the activation of the SmartLink Air Card will result in a solid green light. We have gone through the sequencing of the panel, the tower, the signal, and the activation. This Air Card is now on the SmartLink network and ready to program. In this case, we are seeing the sequencing of the blinks. We're counting them one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That is indicating that we have a, f a red blink on our first blink, which is the panel. By closing the panel door securely, we will see the sequencing go to four green blinks, followed by a solid green LED. This air card now is activated to the SmartLink network and we can begin programming through the SmartLink network. In this case, we have a red blink in our sequencing. We have the first green, green, red, green. This is an indication that we do not have a strong signal. We can rectify this by moving the air card up. By moving the air card vertically, we can improve the signal strength and get a complete activation. In this instance, we are getting a red blink on the second and fourth blink, indicating tower and activation. In this rare instance, the air card is not being seen by the SmartLink network. Please call Weathermatic Tech Support and to rectify the problem.